Give me a minute on what's happening in the business of television. You're going to hear news today that um, that uh, a lot of uh, layoffs are coming at HBO Max and uh, and the Warner Media Empire because it was bought by Discovery, which is crazy to say that Warner Brothers, movie studio, TV studio, HBO, all that, that entire conglomerate, which is responsible for some of the best entertainment in history, was bought by Discovery, which no one really thinks of as a as a major player they took on an enormous amount of debt to buy it from AT&T and as a result they're 57 billion or something in the hole and they have to slash costs and you're about to hear news I think in a couple hours that they're laying off a ton of people and it's terrible because HBO Max for my money is maybe the the has the highest quality stuff of any of the new streaming services and they're going to get hammered because of corporate um, debt requirements for um, to lower their debt for Wall Street. And that's sort of happening all over. You know, the, a lot of these, you know, you read yesterday that Batgirl, mm -hmm. um, the movie that was made for HBO Max, $90 million movie, they're just never going to air it. They would rather take it as a tax write off by never airing it. Well, than actually can, explain it. some of this stuff to me because they did get rid of it and the, it wasn't, they said it wasn't because of confidence in the directors. They said it wasn't because confidence in the quality. They said it needs to feel like a blockbuster. And now a whole bunch of Warner brothers stuff is about to disappear. And I think the news that's about to break is what 70% of HBO max is about to disappear. That's the rumor that HBO Max is essentially going to be folded into Discovery Plus, um, which is their streaming service, and that all of the existing shows that they want to keep are going to be folded under the HBO mothership umbrella. I don't know. I don't work for that company. I have one show, Hacks, that's um, that I produce that's there. But um, it's there. This is happening a lot. These These giant projects are being shuttered or... They would rather literally not air them. There's, my friend has a TV show called Chad where they made an entire season of the show and then just said like, yeah, we're not going to air the season of the show. We're just going to bury it and and put it on a shelf because they would rather take the tax write off as a loss than air the show. Um, and it's sad. It's like this is, you know, this is what happens when the ruthless Wall Street capitalism stuff takes complete uh, dominance over the actual creative endeavors that are being made. And it's happening not just at that company, but at a lot of companies. So it's a bummer, man. It's like they they make good stuff there. And the the executives who work there are very talented and they're very good at what they do. And in the short time that HBO Max has been around, they've made a lot of really good shows. And now they're going to apparently be gutted. And it's, uh, you know, it's just a, a unfortunate result of this kind of intense merger and acquisition stuff that's going on this battle for um for you know size and power in this new industry and i don't know there's no you know the the first domino to fall was when netflix announced that they had lost subscribers for the first time ever their stock went down like 70 percent. i think that put the fear of god into everybody and now they're all scrambling and they're all trying to cut their losses and and um it's a it's bad for people like me and and uh, anyone who likes good content. I, I don't want this to sound like this is the cost of doing business, but this just a lot of this just sounds evil. Between what happened here and what happened with the CNN streaming platform, mm -hmm. like it, this is this is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, man. I I don't disagree. I I I think that the everybody has always known the deal, um, which is that you know as I as my friend John Regi used to say, like we're all just selling light bulbs. This is back. This is how old this is uh, when GE was running. Uh, when GE was running NBC, it's like we're all just selling light bulbs. We, we get that this is commerce and that that it's not a pure expression of artistic uh, creativity. This is capitalism, and the the downside of it, the the upside of it is that you get to make stuff. The downside of it is that when the capitalism takes over or there's a downturn in the economy or whatever, they don't really care about the content. They care about survival and they care about their stock price and all that sort of stuff. And so they get really, really harsh with um, cutbacks and layoffs and everything else like any company does. So all of this, um, all, all, this massive expansion that you've seen since roughly 2010 or 2011 when Netflix started um, becoming an actual content creator instead of just a place you went to watch reruns. That has been unfettered expansion for 10 years and now it's contracting and I and it's going to be bad for people who like to watch shows because there's going to be fewer of them and 
they're going to be pretty ruthless, I think, when it comes to laying people off and cutting back. Mike, what's next then? Because it, w- we were promised that this advent of streaming technology, more options, and you didn't have to go through the traditional gatekeepers. And now what we've just described sounds like, well, we're back to square one. So what's the next evolution? The next evolution is more, I, I would guess, I don't know, but I would guess that there's more consolidation. I think you'll read that some of these places that are struggling, you know, Netflix has like 55% market share or something in the streaming world. Like more than half of people in America have used Netflix, which is crazy. That's an extreme outlier in terms of penetration for any company. And everybody else has been struggling to try to uh, keep up. And I think you'll see more mergers. I think there's places like Paramount Plus, Peacock, which is my hometown streamer at NBC, um, you know, whatever Warner Brothers is still an independent studio. Technically, there's Sony out there. I think you're going to see more of these companies join forces by merging with each other to try to just take a bigger chunk out of the streaming marketplace. But also what's happening is that people are, you know, the economy uh, went south, starting with the pandemic. It's recovered a little bit, but then it's been stumbling and kind of meandering along. And for the first time since 2011, there are people who were looking at their finances and thinking like, well, what can I cut back on? And so a place like Netflix where, you know, Netflix had, again, like unfettered growth. They just outpaced everybody. Everybody got Netflix and no one wants to give it up. But Netflix has also made made some strategic decisions that have hurt them. Like they keep canceling shows before they can get too expensive. They cancel shows after two or three years when people still like them. And that has trained a lot of people to get to not invest because they're like, well, why should I watch these shows if they're just going to be canceled after two years? And so for the first time, I think ever, people have thought like, you know what, I'll get rid of Netflix. Netflix isn't cheap. It's, you know, whatever it is, 15 bucks a month. That's, you know, 180 bucks a year. And I just put it down for six months. And when I get a better job or when I have more, um, you know, discretionary income, I'll pick it back up. All those shows will still be there. The shows never leave the service. So I won't really miss anything. And so there are people who are cutting back for the first time since Netflix started its uh, run. So I think they're, they're all trying to figure out exactly how to make this work. And that will mean probably more consolidation in the industry and more people trying to add advertising. Netflix is apparently going to add an advertising tier to their system. I think other places will too. So the you know nobody really knows it, this is we're going on a, a i don't know to into the into the 10th year or something of everybody saying the same thing which is no one has any idea what's going to happen but the best guess is that more places join forces and merge with each other and people start being a little a little more particular about what they subscribe to and what they don't which is why it's a bummer that HBO Max is going through this right now because HBO Max to my money was uh, for my money was like was the was worth the what you were paying for it. You know, they seem to have great shows coming on all the time. The people there have done a really good job of programming it. And I I'm sad to see some of them go because I think they do a good job.